guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I'm going to be doing a book discussion on an arc that is coming out at the end of this month. I figured since so many people liked my Toucan Kikubu secret discussion, I would try again with this next book. The book I want to talk about is Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schultz. This was the first book I read in February and because I wanted to get it read before the arc came out, of course, and also it fit with the readathons that I am taking part in. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars, and let me tell you why. I've been so excited to film this video because I've been wanting to talk to something or somebody about the story that would actually listen, because right now I'm not really around people who would actually listen to me rant about a book right now. Um, oh my gosh, guys. This story is amazing. <laughs> I was not sure, like, I kept seeing this promo last year all throughout fall, and I just didn't really know what it was. I wasn't really sure, but I was intrigued because I was like, ooh, I want to start getting into more fantasy-type stories, especially because, like, stories about queens have been a big thing lately. So I was like, ooh, I want to try. Like, I'm, I'm also going to try Three Dark Crowns eventually sometime this year. So I figured... This would also be a good story to add into that list. So my friend Chloe managed to get an arc of this from somewhere, maybe Yalfest or something, and she didn't think she would get to it, so she asked, said I could have it and sent it to me. So I was like, ooh, I'm excited to get into it. And I wasn't really sure how I was going to feel about it at first. I kind of was just like, oh, I think I'm going to like this. But I didn't know how much I was going to like this. And let me tell you, I loved this story. Um, to start out with, so, prefacing, I won't get into any spoilers because, again, this book doesn't come out until February 26th, so I do not want anything getting leaked or anyone getting ruined with the story, but I will talk about the things that I liked, and I will be very vague with some things, of course, because, again, don't want to say any spoilers, but, um, I just want everybody to, like, be aware of the story of this book because it's so, so good. Essentially, this story is about a girl named Carolee, I think that's her name, it's K-E-R-A-L-I-E. -E. You can say it, that's how I, I've been saying it since I read it, but I could be wrong, I don't know. She lives in this world where her specific, I guess, kingdom or like society is split up into four sectors and they're each ruled by their individual queen. But all four queens rule in like one little domed building because they like rule together yet separate and that's like their motto. You have Archia, I think that's how, what it's called, Archia. I couldn't, again, these are things I've, I've been saying in my head so I could be totally wrong with the pronunciation, um, which is ruled by Queen Iris. And it is the like the sector that provides agriculture so they provide the food and the things that essentially um they can get from growing in the land and farming and stuff like that they live in that they live in this that's their sector and they actually i think live on a separate like island altogether um that is like not connected at all to the main land. So then you also have um, Ludia, which is ruled by Queen Stessa, and this quadrant is the quadrant of entertainment. So they love parties and dressing up and wearing makeup, and they they don't like dwelling on darkness, like the dark things in life. They only want to think about all the happiness. They value art and literature and music, and that's what they provide into this society. Next you have Ionia, which is ruled by Queen Cora, and this is the sector that is based off of like science. So they they provide medicine and they focus on like uh, technology. So they provide medicine and technology and um, like just like science to the society. They don't believe in ruling with emotions. And then you have Toria, which is ruled by Queen 
Marguerite or Margaret, I can't, it can go either way. Um, and this sector is the sector for like shipping. So like they help get things from um, Ar Archaea or Archaea to the mainland. And this is where um, our main character lives. And this is pretty much kind of like a normal sector from what I like from what I remember reading, there's it's kind of just like a mixture of all the things. Like they have the technology and the medicine kind of and they get the art and the, the other things and this is where honestly this is like their capital because this is where the building with all the queens is located. So yeah, so that is the background of the the world. And then you get the main character, Carolee, and she is a thief in Toria. She has been trained to pickpocket and steal from people so that way she can later sell it on the black market. And one day her mentor points out a quarry, uh, a messenger and tells her to steal from him. And so she does. What she doesn't realize is what she's stealing from him is a plot to kill the queens. And yeah. <laughs> and so her and the messenger team up in order to find out who is trying and has killed the queens. I love this story. There were so many things that happened that I like was not expecting. So one, the thing I loved the most is that you get the queen's perspectives um, before they die. And that's not a spoiler because in the book it says that they die. It leaves all four of Quidoria's queens dead right here on the back of the book. So it's not a spoiler. So you get all, you get like their perspectives of everything that's going on to the, in the castle. You also get Carolee's perspective as well outside of the castle. Or, uh, yeah, whatever. That was like one thing I loved. Honestly, Queen Cora and Queen Iris were my favorites. <laughs> I think I loved Queen Cora because you learned so much about her, especially because she's supposed to be from this like sector of like technology and emotionlessness. And you learn so much like deep things about her that you're like, wow. Remember someone who does not like is not allowed to show any emotion? You are wreck kind of thing. Like it's insane. And then um I just liked Queen Iris's perspective because she was real sassy. Like, she was kind of like, I'm the queen, you gotta listen to me. And I was like, okay, I like you. Yeah, I gotta listen to you because you are the queen kind of thing. So yeah, it was cool. And then the other thing I liked is, so there is a female-female romance in this. Um, there is also a female-male romance in this, obviously. And, like, there's so much diversity. So each of the queens... They're not white, which I was, like, <laughs> really grateful for. So, like, Queen Queen Cora is, I don't want to say they're, like, black or anything like that, but she's darker skinned. So is, I think, either Queen Iris or, Ke or no, I think Queen Stessa is, like, uh, darker skinned, too. And then the other two... Are like lighter skinned but like they're very it's a very diverse story and I really appreciated that and the main guy Baron that's the messenger he is um, uh, like medium toned as well so I appreciated like the the diversity in this overall um, I was like <laughs> going through the story and I was like oh my gosh like these these Queens had secrets like they had like so many so much drama i was like what the heck is going on like i was not expecting these queens to be a hot mess but they were but it was also really great how the hot mess they were like i was like dang you guys got a lot of secrets kind of thing <laughs> it was bad but i also loved it because i was like oh all the tea's coming out like you guys didn't know this no, i'm kidding um <laughs> sorry i'm not taking this seriously um but yeah, so like, I loved getting to know all the queens and their dark secrets. And then, as these secrets are getting revealed, I was like, oh my gosh, I know what's gonna happen. And then, like, it didn't happen like I thought it was gonna happen, and I was wrong. Which is rare. I'm never wrong about a plot of a book. 
unless it's like certain books that had thrown me off and this threw me off a lot because there were so many things that I wasn't expecting to come like that happened especially in the ending I was like what the hell happened I was like where did this plot twist come from and then I was like this is trippy like it kind of got to the point where I was like wow shit the fan and then it got really dark it, like obviously this is a dark story in general because it's called four dead queens but i was like dang this is darker than i was expecting but i really like it so yeah um i will say trigger warnings for murder um it doesn't get super graphic but i will say you do get the perspective of the queens up until they're murdered like like they will be like <laughs> like one of the queens she died and like she like found out she was dying and then like the last like you get their last thoughts her last thought was like how dare you I'm the queen and I was like well damn she was queenly till the end like dang sassy but yeah like it's not super super graphic but you do like as they're dying you are getting their last thoughts so I'm just putting it out there like trigger warnings for murder. For grief, there is a lot of grief in this story for one of the characters, maybe two of the characters. For some of the characters, there's there's a lot of grief. I will say a big trigger warning for um, claustrophobia, especially um, and panic attacks. So be aware of that. And then also, I don't know. Just talk a lot of talk about death. There's a lot of talk about death in the story. So I think that's about it that I need to like trigger warn you guys for. If there's something missing, I apologize. But I think those are the major themes. Otherwise though, like guys, just just get this story. It's so good. Like the okay, so the world building is really good. I love that. So the one thing I'm really sad about is that this is a standalone and I wish it was kind of like either a, a, a series or it like she would write a spinoff because I would totally like you get I would totally love to learn more even more about this world like especially um Ar Archaea like that that sector is kind of mentioned but not really and you don't really experience anyone from there so I would love to get to know that section more because like it would be interesting um and I would I would just love her to maybe expand on this world because especially because there are a lot of flaws in the way that this world is set up um within like the government system within the society within the way these people think there are a lot a lot of flaws and I wish it would be cool to see like them going through the changes of fixing those but I again I don't know if she would ever do that but that was like the only the only thing that disappointed me was just that this is a standalone and like there's just so much in this book and I'm like I wish you would expand upon it. Um, but yeah, the world building was good. The characters were really great. Honestly, I will say the queens were probably my favorite part. Like I loved learning about like outside of the castle, but honestly, all the stuff that was happening inside was really like sucking me in. I was like, oh my gosh, there's so much drama. I love it, but also like learning about the queens and getting to know them, I was like, wow, these people have feelings. That's so great. <laughs> I was like, they're not just like these cold, cool queens like that deserve death or anything like that. But like, I loved um, getting inside of their head and getting their perspectives in this, especially because as you get their perspective, you also learn about the different like rules that they have to follow within the building they're in. like. They're not allowed to ever leave that building unless they want to forfeit their throne. And like there's just so there's so many rules pertaining to their queenships and their queendoms or whatever you call it. And it was interesting, honestly, one, because they all broke they at least all four of them broke half those rules. And then two, like it was cool seeing them as like human because she called cool, like the author could have totally wrote, written this book and like not even included the queens and just be like the queens are dead and you just be like well, why do I care that the queens are dead like 
they they're not important to me like I'm getting the perspective of this girl that has never interacted with the queens at all really whereas like with this book you really get attached to them and you're just like well damn I didn't want them to die <laughs> so yeah it was just interesting and there's just like so much going into this story and this like whole mystery that I really enjoyed and really loved so yeah I think that's all I want to say because I can't go into any more because spoilers and I wish it was just already out so I could talk to you guys about it because I need someone to talk to about this book so badly. It comes out February 26th so please go buy it so that way if you buy this one maybe she'll write another one and then I could be happy and you could be happy too because you're gonna like this book. I promise. Hopefully maybe sometime. Uh, yeah. That is all I have for this video. I just really wanted to gush about this book on this camera because, and yeah, why not? Um, if you guys like the video, go ahead and like it down below. If you have any comments on this book, whether you want to read it, whether you're intrigued, whether you have questions, whether you just want me to spoil it for you altogether, I won't. Unless you like private message me, maybe, but like, no, I probably won't. But like, Go ahead and put them all down below. Um, <laughs> if you want to keep, if you want me to keep doing these types of videos, please go ahead and just let me know. I can stop. I don't care. But it's just kind of fun. Um, if you guys are not good at commenting, go ahead and just leave me an emoji down below. You go. Blah, blah. I love knowing you guys are here. And if you guys want to see, keep seeing more videos from me. If you guys want to keep seeing more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You guys are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.